Well, we knew that we wanted to do something as a husband and wife. This opportunity came along as a husband and wife operation was advertised in the newspaper. It said it was water treatment. We started in the back porch of our house. We had our four children at that time, and so we worked hard to support the family, and uh, we just really feel very glad about the Michiana area that they supported us to help us to grow to where the business is today. When I started, my oldest son was three months old. He's now 29 and married, uh, and so we had three other kids along the way as well. So they grew up kind of in that Hawkins family. So we've been fortunate to be part of a company that valued family as much as the work itself. The water world is so enormous. Every customer has to be tailored to. Clean water is often taken for granted in, in the environments that we live in. And what we sell and provide is certainly a peace of mind, but we are continuing to find advances in our product lines where we are having ability to connect remotely. Some of our new products we're able to see, you know, a 90 day history. We take a USB stick, plug it in, we can take it to our computer and our truck and download all that data. You know, it's got flow rates, how many regens it's had in the past couple of weeks, whole plethora of data. You know, not, it's not just about making money, it's providing service to people that is needed. Most dealerships within the water treatment industry, they're all commission-based, they're all pushy sales, they're all, oh, this water's scary, let's get it taken care of for you, here's some product. But our entire team, we're non-commissioned, non so we're not out there pushing product on, on people. We're entrusted with so much when we visit a customer's home. Uh, one, they're inviting us to their home, oftentimes if they're not there, and so integrity is of the utmost. Just understanding that those values and the way we treat the customers isn't going away and it's always going to be a part of our future. It's really about placing culture-driven values to the entire team not just the next generation of ownership. Stuff isn't gonna change because it went to the third generation. We're still gonna operate on that golden rule, just the way my grandparents founded the company on and then my dad ran the company as well. But nothing's gonna change. We still operate with that high level integrity and still do the golden rule.